So I want to be very clear that the reason we are here is because the Capitol Police has refused to do its job. Yes. Had the Capitol Police not refused to be, do its job, we would not be here today in chaos and dysfunction. And so that's why we are standing here so that we can have the truth to come out. And so when I was asked to write a poem, what was laid on my heart was simply a really simple title, The Truth for Dow Mobile and others. Governor Tater Tot has released his swarming serpent spies cloaked as Capitol commanders. They are a goon squad of the first order paddle rolled in the public, protecting the colonizer by patrolling the Confederate castle filled with lurking legislators laying landmines to demolish the deeds of millions of Meggers and Merleys. They protect the treasures of the pirates by serving stop and frisk on the peasants when your hands are stained with the sin of segregation and your tongue is tattooed with the toxic taste of tyranny, we know that only death has ever been spewed from your mouth. So to expect us to believe that the check you are trying to cash isn't as fraudulent as the funds that flowed and flowered a gymnasium in Southern Miss is like asking the rabbit to believe that the fox, coyote, and eagle have dinner plans that don't involve him. Thus, when the governor's SWAT team summarily sweeps the death of a black body under the rug of nothing to be seen here before the professionals can get a chance to be professionals, can we really be surprised that those who have been seized by the strikes of yesterday are unwilling to believe that the same snake has no venom stored for them today? Well, let me tell you a joke, a pathologist a medical examiner and a coroner walked into a bar. That's because the Capitol Police has padlocked the laboratory hoping to hide the history of hindering justice to the children of Wright and Walker as the punchline remains the same. Waiting for justice with your mouth closed ensures that starvation is all that you get for Brother Dow.